down to earth. I mean, he wasn't, you know, he was a different guy. I, I remember once uh, a buddy of mine, we were doing a fight. I, I don't remember what it was, but Thomas Hearns was a special guest, and they brought him in. And, you know, they, they said to me and my broadcast partner, you know, call call a car service, you know, this number, and they'll take you back to the airport. That was part of the deal. I said, fine. So, we, you know, we called the car service, and we're waiting, you know, like 8 o'clock in the morning outside of the hotel. And here comes Thomas Hearns, you know, Mr. Big Shot. Nice suit on, and he's, on, he's one guy, one-man entourage, and, you know. And, hey, Thomas, how are you? Man, what's going on? Nice nice, nice night last night, right? Yeah, 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 whatever. I said, okay, so you're a big time, but you don't want to talk. Okay, fine. So we're sitting there, and this white stretch limo pulls up. I'm like, oh, wow. And Hearns just gets up. All right, man, see you later. And the guy gets out of the car, and he says, car for Tony Page. I said, excuse me, Thomas. And, I just, and then all of a sudden, he's like, well, wait, we got a flight. We got to get to the airport. I said, would you like to ride in our limo? And all of a sudden, he became the nicest guy. See, Manny wasn't like that. Manny was nice from point one to whenever, you know, it didn't matter who you were, what newspaper you were, what, new, what television station, Manny gave you the time of day because Manny was just a, a people person and a great human being, and I will miss him. Taking a break. We'll be right back. W- 